now in the quadratic polynomial okay or you can say geometric meaning of a zero sum of polynomial we have seen the case of the quadratic polynomial in the quadratic polynomial the graph is cutting the x axis at exactly two distinct points okay now if we go further there are three different cases which are discussed in the book okay no need to draw for the students but it is just for explanation purpose and it can come in the examination directly the graph will be given you have to just see and tell that how many zeros will be possible okay so three cases are given in the book regarding the quadratic polynomial now here case number one is okay here case number one is x axis and y axis are given okay so this is open parabola down road okay so two distinct points the graph is cutting the x axis at two distinct points a and a dash and in the second case also means in the case number one diagram two is there so it may be open upward or open down road okay here also it is cutting two points so here number of zeros are two number of zeros are 2 this is the case number 1 now in the case number 2 here the parabola is exactly touching the x axis at only one point okay so here a and a dash both are coinciding on one point or both are overlapping on one point only okay both are coinciding on one point so here whether the parabola is open upwards or downwards both are touching the x axis at one point only So here a and a, a dash are coinciding or overlapping each other. So here only one zero is there. How many zero? One zero. And last case, case number three. Here the parabola is neither touching the x-axis up upward or downward. Okay. Here the parabola is above the x-axis and here the parabola is below the x-axis, but it is not touching the x-axis at any point. So no zeros at all. Okay, no zero. no solution is possible okay so here we are getting two zeros here we get we are getting one zero and here we are getting no zero so in the quadratic polynomial the maximum of the number of the zeros we are getting are two we have already seen that quadrat means two okay so the maximum number of zeros will be two thank you